guys, Alexandria here and welcome to the channel. Today I'm here to share with you my ColourPop lip gloss collection by request from some of you guys. So if you guys are curious what I have in my ColourPop lip gloss collection, let's go ahead and get into it. So for those of you who don't know, I am a makeup collector. I enjoy collecting makeup. One of those things being ColourPop lip glosses. So I'm going to share with you all of the ColourPop lip glosses I have purchased over the last little while. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and get into it. So this is my ColourPop lip gloss collection. I do have quite a few here. I obviously don't have all of them because I only purchase ones that I enjoy. Unfortunately, I don't get ColourPop PR in any kind of way, so I don't have every shade of everything to share with you, but I do want to share what I do have. So I want to go ahead and swatch the three limited edition shades that are no longer available so we can kind of compare those as we go. Ooh, excuse me. Okie dokie. The first one I want to share with you guys is my absolute favorite lip gloss from ColourPop of all times, which is really sad to me because it is limited edition. It's the shade 925. So we're going to swatch this first because I want to see how other shades in my collection compare. So there is 9 to 5. It's just a really beautiful, it's not picking up on camera from what I can tell, but it's just like a multi-faceted shade. So I find it really interesting and I love it a lot. So this is Color Pops 9 to 5. The other limited edition shade I have to share with you guys is the shade Master Plan. Again, this one is also no longer available. So there is the shade Master Plan. And lastly, the shade Updo, which was also a limited edition shade. I feel like this came in a collection or from like Sephora or something perhaps, but it's a lovely like peachy pink shade. So those are the three limited edition shades I have. Now let's compare those to my non-limited edition shades. So the other thing I want to share is a bundle that I have here. So these three shades come as a bundle, but I do believe you can purchase them individually. So this first one is the shade Lazy. And as you can tell, it is kind of similar to my favorite shade, but it's not quite the same. It is similar though. Then we have the shade Fairy Me, which is also a metallic. Now, as you'll notice, some of these have doe foot applicators and some of them have the brush applicator that I will show you guys soon. Then the last one in this little set here is the shade Obviously. So this one is probably the closest to my favorite shade here. I think that's actually why I bought this set is because I was hoping this shade obviously was similar and it's relatively similar. Now I'm going to kind of go in color order here with ones that I think are most similar. Okay, so I did pull Snow Day out of my declutter pile. I will leave that linked in case you'd like to see it, but I wanted to just be able to swatch it for you. So this is the shade Snow Day. And as you'll see, this one has the brush applicator. So that one, which you can sort of see, is Snow Day. And then next to it is Here's To You. Again, all of these shades except for the first three are still available. So as you see, this is why I decluttered Snow Day because these are pretty similar. I do prefer the doe foot though, I'm not going to lie to you guys. So there's Here's To You, which you can tell, very similar. As far as my other metallics go, I have the shade Cabana Boy. So this one is really pretty, kind of similar to my favorite limited edition shade. So this makes me thankful to kind of compare them all for you. And my last metallic shade is the shade Wolfie. 
which is a great kind of crimsony color for the fall and winter, although you definitely have to be careful with these like darker tones of gloss. Okie dokie. Now I'm moving on to kind of the mid-tone shades of the bunch. So this one is Champagne Miami. This one also has that kind of doe foot applicator. I believe this is supposed to be made with some sort of like special oils. I think it's like supposed to be a different formula, but you know ColourPop, they're always changing their formulas. So there's the shade Champagne Miami. <clears throat> Then we have the shade Aquarius, which I believe is the Kathleen Lights collab. So it's a super pretty, like, mauve shade. Forgive the terrible swatching. Then we have the shade Finders Keepers, which is what this one looks like. And this one is pretty similar to the Kathleen Lights, but it is a little more dusty mauve. It's probably hard to kind of tell in this lighting. It's the only problem with glossy lips. Then we have the shade Flying Horses. This one also has one of the brush tips. So this one is a less kind of pigmented gloss. It does have color to it, obviously, but it's not as pigmented as some of the others. There's flying horses. Sorry, that's like literally the worst swatching ever. But there we go. And the last three that I think are relatively similar or in the same family is the shade Dropout. And this is supposed to be a sheer so as you can see it's got those like purpley tones in it but it is a bit more of a sheer formula then I have the shade Suki I meant to tell you the finishes on each of these so I'll try to note it okay so we have Suki which I'm not gonna lie I bought because of Gilmore Girls related things even though I'm fairly confident it has nothing to do with it so you can tell this one is the sheer and this one is the cream. So you've got a deeper, it's the same tone, but this one has more color payoff. <clears throat> and then my very last shade is Believe Me, which is also a metallic. Can you tell I like a metallic lip gloss? And this is again that same kind of berry family, except this one has more metallic in it. So there is Bury Me. So that is my ColourPop lip gloss collection. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, which shade is your favorite. Do you guys think that this is a close enough dupe to my favorite limited edition shade? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and share your favorite ColourPop lip gloss down below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys.